Bend is a town of bike shops, with no less than 10 within city limits. The shop that stood out the most for us was Bend Velo, a new shop specializing in classy utilitarian bicycles in Bend. When I got my Bach feet, it opened up a whole new world of riding to me, which was riding slow through town in an upright position instead of going out and killing yourself on a race bike. So um, that's what got me started thinking about a commuter shop in Bend, and uh, I thought it was uh, a niche that needed to be filled. Um, it's, it's important to me to get people out of their cars and onto their bikes, and to have Portland have such a cool bike scene and have a lot of people commuting and not have it carry down to Bend, mm -hmm. um, it kind of upset me, you know, and I wanted to do my part to bring a little piece of the Portland bike vibe to, to Bend. And it's been really well received. Uh, right at the beginning when I first opened, people were like, what, are you crazy opening a bike shop in Bend when there's so many shops already and good shops? And then I'd kind of explain to them what I wanted to do, and they'd be like, wow, we really need a shop like that in town. And so it's, it's been good, and I've moved to a bigger location now, and um, it's worked out really well. Ben Velo has an interesting business model of taking old 80s mountain bike frames and repurposing them into classy new commuter bikes. They call these new bikes Jay Livingston's. But a lot of times they, they talk to me more and they realize that, oh, I can get it powder coated in whatever color I want. I can pick my fender colors. I can even pick my handlebars and my grips. And so what ends up happening is they basically build a one-of-a-kind bike for themselves that nobody else has a bike exactly like it. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's a super fun process to work with people and some of them are bike people and they know exactly what they want and others are not bike people and they just want to get a good commuter bike and they get excited about the whole design process and they learn a lot about their bike as we build it. And my philosophy is if they're that involved in the build process, they're gonna be that much more committed to riding it. Um, and the typical build on one is uh, fenders, upright riding position, um, kickstand, and a, a rack of some type. So again, we try and address all those um, issues people have. You know, I've gotta wear special shoes, or I can't carry my laptop, or you know, the streets are wet, or whatever. I've been into pretty high-end bikes most of my life, race bikes. And uh, he, I, I talked to John at a party one night and we started a little discussion about old steel mountain bikes because there's, there's a lot of them around. And uh, you know, he was like, hey, these make great town bikes, you know? And so I, I kind of listened to him and next thing you know, we were kind of putting some together. Uh, they got the name, just the name kind of carried with it. I, and so it was a way to make an affordable um, town bike for people and everybody likes the idea that we're recycling parts. <laughs>